What's up, Douglas? It's Trent, aka O Trademark here. And a few months back, there was a player that uh, released a video where he got in a 300 plus kill gameplay on Nuketown. And because my channel has gotten to a relatively decent size, uh, I try and do my best to help promote other YouTubers that have really good content or that um, release a gameplay that impressed me. And I thought that was a pretty impressive score, even though it was against really bad players, so I liked that video. And um, that's just something I try and do to help people out. Well, it turned out that that gameplay was faked. And um, that, that, uh, that made me think twice about just willingly promoting other people because I put my reputation on the line to like someone else. And it turned out to be fake, and that actually hurts my reputation. Because I'm, if I'm going to go out and actively promote other people and say, hey, this guy's a really good player, this person's really good gameplay, blah, 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 has really good content, and it turns out that you're just some scumbag, well, that, that reflects poorly on me. And so I, from that point on, I told myself that I was going to be more careful about who I promoted and make sure that these people um, are, are someone that I actually want to put my reputation behind and promote. Well, uh, recently, Amp Luigi got a 300 plus as well, and uh, before I was going to promote him, I said I was going to look into it. Well, um, I used to look at COD Elite records a lot because when I was in, when I was participating in Elite operations, you would have to go into their COD Elite records to to find proof that people were cheating, connections between the players who were playing against each other, because there was a lot of cheating. Like when Jeeps and and iPods and iPads are on the line, people cheat. It's unfortunate, you know, that people don't have um, <laughs> that they have that low morality that they don't really care, but they do. They cheat, and um, for whatever it is, for whatever reason, they do it. And when I was looking at this gameplay, I. Every single flag in my head is going off that this gameplay is fake. And I don't have any definitive proof, um, what I would consider definitive. But I have a lot of logical connections that if you really think about it, there's a very, 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 very slim chance that this gameplay is legitimate. Just based upon the records of the people that he was playing with and playing against. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and show the COD Elite and kind of what I've found. And then you're, fi you're free to believe whatever you want. But this is kind of what I've gathered from the situation. Okay, guys. So I have Amp Luigi's COD Elite profile loaded here. And I have his match history up. And on May 26th, he started playing at 952. And he got his 300 plus at, uh, on his fifth game. So within the, the time frame of an hour, on his fifth game, he got his 300 plus and what I want to show you guys is in the 300 plus the players that he was playing against all have very similar play schedules let me just kind of show you what I mean his so Luigi's first game was like about an hour before this and they're all gonna have slightly different time zones because elite goes according to your current the first players time zone let's take a look at this I'm gonna load up all these players that he played against and kind of show you guys some similarities so uh, Tob Rainer, he's he's one of the dudes that was in there for the entire game. Uh, Tob Rainer, and um, this is just to show this is his profile. In his match history, he started playing at 11:17, and he finished playing on that day at 11:43. So of well, excuse me, he he played one game at 8:47, but uh, two of the games that he was in. Surprise, surprise, are the two games against uh, Amp Luigi. One where Amp Luigi goes like 150 kills, the next game where he goes 300 kills. So this dude gets stomped by uh, this full team, goes 0 and, uh, or where is he? 7 and 31. He stays in for another game where Luigi gets his 300 plus and he's done for the, he's done for the day. So he's had enough. I mean, he plays five games this day similar to Luigi's five games two of the games are against Luigi he's done after that okay so the next guy is Jack 77 player and what I want you guys to see about this guy is that this guy only plays gun game and arms race like that's all he plays well he's playing gun game and like uh, a bunch of random things until 1137 he heads into a domination games he gets killed he stays, sticks around, even though he gets trashed, he sticks around for a second game to play against the same full party. So, he plays nothing but gun game and random things 
randomly joins two games to get his ass kicked for who knows what reason and then goes back on to playing arms race for like the rest of the day and then is done an hour later okay next player is this MJ9799 guy and uh, he plays again the two games 1137-1143 against the F Luigi's full team and then he just stops playing for a couple hours and then randomly loads back up so he just takes a break as well after getting his ass kicked twice twice in a row next player Adam 92 Leon he starts playing on May 26th again in the morning plays a game with Tauberainer who is on on the same team Tauberainer is on the enemy team of Luigi's plays a game with Tauberainer goes into it another game against Amp Luigi a game against Luigi so these are the two games again that Luigi got over a whole shitload of kills and look at that he stops playing for a couple of days magically just doesn't want to play for a couple of days after he's done that next player TA scene 07 and uh, this one's pretty interesting TA scene 07 doesn't play at all until 530 randomly gets on just just decides his first game he's gonna play against is against Luigi's full party and he's gonna get his ass kicked 215 but he's not done he's not done playing he's gonna go play a different game so 1137 he plays against Luigi 1138 he goes to play a killed confirmed game so he goes to play aftermath because he's like man I was getting my ass handed to him but look he wants to go back and get his ass handed to him again so he goes back into the same game the raid game gets his ass handed to him by Luigi and look at this 11:47, he's off again. Like he wants to. <laughs> I don't even get these players. They play against someone, they get their ass kicked, go to another game, and then they come back the next game. I mean, yeah, that could be coincidence from uh, inviting recent players, but why do you stick around for 15 deaths like while well, people have streaks in the air? And just so here's the next player, Skate Farrah J, and Skate Farrah J is the split screener that was in. Uh, almost the entire game went 1 in 70 the other dude went 0 and some shit loads of deaths he was there for the almost the entire game it leaves like the last 60 seconds and uh, so the split screeners they don't they play against Luigi's team full party once get their ass kicked play against their full party twice and decide to leave in the last 60 seconds don't play again until a full day later two days later so like <laughs> I mean I don't know what it is but apparently all these people once Luigi got his 300 plus they just they didn't want to play anymore I don't know why I mean Luigi was done playing and they just decided they were done playing too uh, here's the next dude IQ Nicholas again starts playing around 10 o'clock or an hour before the games let's take a look at this oh he gets into the raid domination game goes to a different game Oh, and then comes back to get his ass kicked again. Why am I seeing this trend that they play against Luigi, then they leave and they go somewhere else, and then they come back and play against Luigi? It's like, bad. Luigi is just like this magnet of bad players. It's so cool to see all these dudes just keep coming back to play against him. And here's one of the, here's the last player, Costlier Uncle One. He, again, he just plays both games against Luigi and then leaves and doesn't play again for an entire day. So, I mean, out of the 15 plus players or whatever there, of the ones that went in and died, and I'll show you this, Tom Lee 67, an unexpected error when, occurred when loading this section, and this, uh, the koala baby. So two of the dudes that were in there for almost the entire game, their elites won't load, which, I mean, I, I don't know, elites sometimes shit, so I can't really blame that on anyone. But I'm guessing that if I was to look at these two players, Koala Baby, let's Tom Lee 67 goes 7 and 54. Blouse Koala Baby go 1 and oh he's the dude that goes 1 and 88 or some shit. I'm almost positive if I could load this dude to lead, you'd just see a bunch of bullshit and he probably stopped playing at the exact same time. After that game, after Luigi gets his 300 plus, he's done. Now before I end this video, I just wanted to uh kind of say something and make a quick disclaimer in that 
just because someone was in this video it doesn't necessarily mean that they were intentionally dying or that they're a booster or that there is um, some ill intent on their part. There is a very good chance that some of the players that were in this game just were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They got invited to the games from the recent player lists and it just looks bad even though they it wasn't intentional. And so there is that possibility. And there's even the possibility that I'm uh, entirely wrong about this. And uh, Luigi is 100% legit, which I feel is like a 0.01% chance. But uh, there is that possibility. And, and um, I guess what I'm getting at, guys, is that uh, if you're a gameplay channel, like if, if you're a game purely based gameplay channel, um, and luckily I'm not. Luckily I'm more information based and, and entertainment based. And so uh, luckily I'm not purely gameplay. But if I was a pure gameplay ch based channel, I would be really pissed off about something like this. That, uh, that people like this exist. I mean, people like this are always going to exist. Uh, people that are, are shady, um, poor character type individuals that are going to try and cheat in order to um, get something that they want. But uh, I would be careful if you're a gameplay based channel, be careful about where you send your content to, who you promote, who you connect yourself with, who you associate yourself with. Um, people like the Amp Clan, they have a lot of shady claims to a lot of these world records. And I'm not saying the Amp's not good. There's a lot of really, really good players at Amp that I've personally played with, people like Goon and, and Weagle, and people that I respect and I, I uh, like to watch their content. But just the concept of Amp, the, th the crazy thing about this whole situation is even if definitive proof comes out that Luigi was cheating, Amp's not going to take a hit for it. Energy's just going to kick him out of the clan and, you know, whatever. And all these things are going to be in the past, which is kind of ridiculous that they still got so much exposure and, and views and claims to a false title. Um, so I would be careful. If you are a YouTuber that is gameplay-centric, try and work with other gameplay center channels. Try and get featured on a gameplay channel. If you get one shout-out from a channel like that, that's better than giving all claims of your gameplay to one clan and being like, oh, you know, I'm just going to make this clan immensely popular based upon false claims to, to world records and whatnot. But um, but that's it for, for me, guys. Malo El Pito, thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.